Today, we're going to be comparing the cameras on the Xiaomi 13 Pro versus the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. Both of these do have a one-inch sensor for the camera, which is good. And for a front-facing camera, it's 1080p only. So if you like to vlog, that may be a downfall. Starting off with the ultra wide for video, it seems like the Xiaomi does have this like brighten up black. So it's kind of looking like a bit of gray, but you can still see the details in them. Whereas the Vivo, it is more punchy and more contrasty. For pictures, it's like the opposite. It feels like I can see more in the shadows on the Vivo. The Xiaomi is just a bit darker. Now I know they have their own authentic slash natural look and their vibrant mode. And from my last comparison with the Xiaomi versus the iPhone, it seems like the authentic mode does add to like vignetting. The colors are still pretty vibrant and it looks like it's already been edited. So for this video, they're both on their vibrant mode. And from looking at these pictures, they both have their own color profile or color science. And it depends on what you like and your taste. And just basing off the colors, I feel like I do like the pictures on a Vivo and for video, I'm leaning towards the Xiaomi. When you're indoors with fairly low light situations, it does a pretty good job on both. I, re I really don't recommend using it outside when there's no lights at all. So I would recommend switching over to the wide camera. And it's pretty much the same thing for the wide lens shooting video. It seems like I can see more in the shadows in the Xiaomi, like the area where the tires are. I can see the tire tracks a bit more easily than the Vivo. And the blue and yellow from the IKEA does pop a little bit more on the Xiaomi as well. And the same thing with the ultra wide. On the Vivo, I can still see more in the shadows for pictures. On a cloudy day like this, I can see that the Xiaomi is just a bit darker. And when you're indoors, when you see a bunch of tungsten lights, I can clearly see that the Xiaomi is really strong about white balancing and making sure the white is white. Whereas on a Vivo, it does show a bit more natural where you can see some of the yellowness coming through the lights and you know, you can see it um, bouncing off the floor and people's skin. And there are times where the Vivo does have a bit more pop in terms of the red and blues. And the overall picture just look a little bit more natural than the Xiaomi. And then it's the opposite for video. The Xiaomi just looks like it's just a bit more natural. The Vivo looks like it's um, pushing towards the yellow too much. And especially with this shot here, it seems like the skin tone does look more natural and pops more than the Vivo. And when you're shooting outside in a very dark, it does seem like the Xiaomi is a bit cleaner. If you look at the sky, you can see a little bit noise on the Vivo. For telephoto, if you do use a lot of these pictures or go into telephoto, I do think that the Vivo might be the better experience just because it does have 3.5 and then 10 as like a quick access button. Whereas on a Xiaomi, you get ultra wide wide and 3.2, and then you would have to slide to zoom in even more. I feel like the ranges between 3 to 10 looks great for everyday situations, which most people would use between those range anyways. But if you go all the way up to like 70x max on the Xiaomi and 100 max on the Vivo, that's only when it's using as a tool to see something from far away. Because at those max zoom ranges, it doesn't look that great and also you would have to be very stable to get a good clear picture, even though it's not all that clear. So yes, the 100x or better zoom will be on the Vivo, but honestly, I don't really see myself using that high of a zoom anyways, so it doesn't matter for my preference. Now there are times where you need to zoom in for the video as well, and it does seem like the skin tone on the Vivo is like this, it does have this weird artifact jumping around on the skin, whereas on a Xiaomi, it looks very natural. Moving on to portrait mode, there are things that I like on both. For the Vivo, I like how there's 1x, 2x, and 3x, especially the 2x where it's a good even ground to like shoot from indoors and outdoors. On a Xiaomi, you only get like 1x and 3x, there's no in between. What I do like about the Xiaomi, it does have these pro lenses option where you do see different focal lengths and you have like different effects, which is different, and I think it's more fun to use for regular consumers. Whereas on a Vivo, you do get this like effects option where only the background or the bulkhead changes the effects. So I don't think a lot of like the normal people would actually see the difference enough to the point where they would use it. But I still like how I can still use the 2x option to use these different effects. But I can't turn off the black and white or swirly look on the Xiaomi. So in the end, it's like a one inch sensor Zeiss versus Leica. And it really depends on what characteristics you like on each other phone. So it's really up to you to decide which one you like better. Let me know your thoughts down below and if you do want to see more comparisons with the Xiaomi 13 Pro, I do have one with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the iPhone 14 Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.